What's up ladies and gents, this is KC Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today I want to talk about a little subject I'm going to call Destiny Nostalgia. And it's pretty interesting. I ran over to the Bungie forums and I've seen some posts. I've seen people actually talking about how much better Year One is than The Taken King. So I want to talk about this. And if you enjoy this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, if we're going to talk about nostalgia today, we need to show clips from year one. So this is Vault of Glass, this is Atheon, this is from year one with all your year one gear and everything, not a year two Vault of Glass at all. So we see people and they're basically talking and saying that year one Destiny was better than it is in the Taken King. And let's get it out there right now, it's not true. It's not even remotely true. It doesn't even hold a candle, year one, compared to The Taken King. But let's talk about what lends credence to that argument, at least. In year one, everything was brand new. There was really no rushing ahead. There was no rushing through the story, what story there was. There was no rushing through things to get to the next stage because... It was brand new to everybody. We didn't actually know how to rush through everything. So everything that you got in year one was your first Destiny experience, period. That's the first thing that you remember, and you have a great fondness for stuff like that. So the very first time you saw an exotic drop, you're never going to be able to replicate that. You're never going to replicate that. The very first time you cleared a raid, you're never going to replicate that. The very first time you just started up your Guardian from the beginning, these are basically your one-time experiences that you're going to have and you're going to take with you forever. But you can't go back and form a new experience that gives you that exact same feeling. The mind, it has a really great way of kind of just twisting and only remembering the good things about stuff. For instance, how many of you have exes, guys or girls out there, and you... Think about that ex, and you're like, oh man, wow, you know, we had a lot of great times together. And you remember going someplace or doing something or whatever the case may be, thinking she's pretty. And you just kind of gloss over the fact that, you know, she lied to you, she stole from you, she cheated on you, all kinds of things like that. That's because that's how the mind works. It kind of filters out the bad stuff, and it only like holds on to and remembers the good stuff. It's really not all that good back in year one. There was plenty of good stuff. Vault of Glass is still the class of all raids, hands down. It was a monster, a ton of fun. It's still a ton of fun. But there was a ton of bad stuff too. How about the fact that our vaults, our vaults were one third the size that they are right now. Our vaults were one third the size. What about the grinding? What about loot cave farming? What was fun about standing and shooting in a cave for hours and hours and hours on end to hopefully get a purple Ingram, only to take that purple Ingram to the Cryptarch and get a green from it? What about having to run circles on planetary patrols for planet materials before you were able to buy them? The bore of that. What about whenever you started up a new character and you had all this gear saved, but you couldn't level it up because you didn't have enough specific armor materials for that? Five bounties, sometimes being taken up by the really difficult exotic bounties that were around. Or doing your nightfalls and getting seven strange coins for a nightfall that would kick you to orbit when you could just do the heroic strike and get nine from it to begin with. No, Destiny Year One was definitely not better than the Taken King. Not at all. And the other thing that we see is people complaining about Crucible, wishing that it was back to the Suros meta, back to the Mythoclast meta. Back when the Mythoclast was extremely overpowered, people want that back, but I guarantee the people that want it back didn't have a Mythoclast because they were just getting absolutely wrecked by it and then complaining about it. I would like all that stuff back because I'm more in favor of buffing stuff than nerfing stuff, but back at the time, people were absolutely complaining about it. Like Thorn? Thorn and Blink shotguns, people complained about that every minute of every day that it was active, and now people miss that meta? No way do I believe this <laughs> at all. No way. And you could do Crucible matches back in the day and never get a single thing. Literally nobody at the end of a match could get something. No, no, no. The Taken King is in a much better place than Destiny Year One was or ever was. And yes, there are things that are missing. There are things that need to improve with Destiny in the future. But 
We can't fall to nostalgia. We can't fall to thinking that Destiny Year One was for some reason perfect, because it wasn't. But it's going in a better direction. So tell me what you actually missed from Year One and what you find it funny that people are saying they missed from Year One. Anyway guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your year one, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Nostalgia.